Today in the garage, I have the very cheapest plasma cutter that I could find on the internet. So I'm gonna bust it open and set it up and see if it works. So I have a job coming up that's gonna require cutting a bunch of metal. Uh, this should be an efficient way to cut it if it works. Um, like say I bought this on Amazon, it was like $185 shipped to my house. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this name, uh, but it does have this cool flying chicken or whatever it is here on the box. So that's neat. Looks packaged okay. So this is like a 110 plug, which is important because I don't have a 220 plug out in this garage here. This is just a house garage. Uh, apparently this will run, oh, it's just a little guy. All right, you cute. Apparently this will run on 220 or 110. A little plastic cap there for something that's not hooked up. And we've got some other goodies in the box. There's the machine. Looks really simple. We got on off, gas input. I assume that's air. These are the hookups for the torch here and a dial of some sort. Let's see what else they gave me. So we got a box of goodies. It's like Christmas. Okay, so, oh nice. Nope. Try not to drop and break that. So this would be the air regulator. Little bracket and, oh, there's even a gauge. Okay, we're off to a good start. Fitting, and they even gave me some uh, Teflon tape some instruction manual. That would be the ground clamp. This feels really cheap and cheesy, but we'll see. The torch, it doesn't feel too bad. That feels somewhat substantial. And this is the adapter uh, to run it on 220. So if you're buying one of these for 220, you probably want to buy one that's primarily for 220, not like this, where it's like a 110 plus you could run it on 220. I would want one that has this plug and maybe the option to run it on 110. So there's one more thing in this box. I'm sort of scared to open it because I, like it feels like this is toxic waste or a lead vest or something. an apron. It's pretty neat. There's, I guess that's, oh, look at that. Oh, it stinks. Ah. <laughs> Man, that needs to go air out for a while. Oh, it, it smells like when your kid doesn't empty their lunch pail open before March break and then like the Monday when they go back to school, you open it up to, ah, to make their lunch. That's going right outside. Can't believe I put that on my body. So I gotta hook up this pressure regulator first. So there's an arrow. That's gotta mean like in and out. And then this little bracket that holds it goes on like this, cause there's a little tab for this little tab to go into. So that goes on the back with these two screws it looks like. And then hook up this hose 
and a fitting for the air hose. So I've got my air regulator assembled. Uh, so this end, the hose looks like it just is a like a push-in style. So that goes in there. Uh, this I had to source myself. It came with this. I don't know what you would do with that and a hose clamp. Um, so this to connect to the compressor, I had to supply myself. Everything else went together pretty well. So this little red collar spins off. Goes on like that. goes into there so that appears to be all set up on that end on the front the ground clamp obviously goes on this one it's got a little picture of the clampy thing it's that And there's two connections for the torch. This guy that looks like it's for a CB radio or something. That would be the turn me on, turn me off wire. And then this has got to be for the air. That looks like it's all hooked up. Um, there is a tip in here. So I think, a little trigger guard here. I think I can plug it in and get a piece of metal and see if this thing cuts or not. Okay, so I've got this set up and plugged in and I just grabbed a few pieces of scrap metal out of my scrap bucket that I'm gonna try. Um, this is like one eighth inch plate. This is a little thicker piece of angle iron that I had. Um, and that's the sort of stuff that I'm gonna be using. So these machines kind of come in two flavors. There's a Pilot Arc one, which costs more money, and it basically shoots a little burning flame out of this all the time when you pull the trigger like a blowtorch. This is the cheaper version where it just shoots air until you make contact with the tip. So what you have to do is lay it on there and get it going and then sort of roll into your cut like that. Um, the downside to this one is it won't do a good job of cutting things that are rusty or that are painted. You have to grind the paint and the rust off before you can start cutting. Although once you get going, it'll sort of burn the paint off as you go or the rust. Um, so if you're doing rust repair, this might not be the machine for you. I'm usually working with clean metal when I'm making things. Never mind this rusty thing behind me. This is not what that's for. So this should work for me. And it was like half the cost of a pilot arc model. So I'm gonna put on my welding gloves to protect my hands, partly because I don't know exactly what this machine's gonna do when I fire it up. And I'm gonna wear my welding helmet on a grind setting. I'm not so much worried about getting a welding flash as I am about like slag flying up and hitting me in my eyes. You can only have that happen twice. So, oh, and we need air. So the chart says uh, 30 to 70 PSI. So I've got this at like 50 PSI. Is that turning on? Yeah. And right now I've got it at, I'm going to try it at 20 amps. This is not a 20 amp breaker, so that kind of only makes sense. And there's a fire extinguisher nearby. I don't know why that fan shut off. Wow. 
So it cut through there like nothing. Uh, I kind of just swiggled around to see what it was going to do. Um, I obviously need a guide to cut a straight line with one of these, but it works and it cuts. So let's do some more cutting and see what we can do. So I'm very impressed with this after 30 seconds of using it. Uh, it turned right on, no problems. It cut through those pieces of metal real easy. Um, I have to practice with this. I've used plasma cutters a little bit before, but you know, you gotta spend a number of hours uh, with a machine like this before you really know how it works. One of the guys that taught me to weld years ago said, once you've been through two whole rolls of MIG wire, then you'll be a welder. So I need to cut more than a couple of inches of scrap metal on this, but I think I'm going to really enjoy this. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description in case you want to buy one the same. I think this is the perfect sort of unit for a home shop like this. The only issue I had with it was the fitting in the back down here, which was pre-installed leaked. And I had to take that off and put some Teflon tape around it. No big deal. I will, however, say that the translation department for these instructions needs a little bit of work. Uh, in a former job, I did some proofreading for documents. Um, so this just drives me nuts. On display, after open the power supply, the power light is light current meter display the preset current. If you can make sense of that, you're better off than me. Open the power switch, make the power switch is on position. Screen will show the current volume. Yeah, okay, so good luck with that if you need to read the instructions. Otherwise, there's all kinds of people have YouTube videos on how to use these. Um, so, Check back here to see what I do with this here in the garage. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you wanna make sure you don't catch the next video we put out, hit that subscribe. We'll see you next time here in the garage.